having your attention at this moment is my joy and my privilege to serve you, my good friend, brothers and sister, wherever you are across the globe. Coming your way today, I want to present to you another subject on leadership, very critical and very vital. Let me simply caption this as how to identify the true image of leadership. You know, everything in life is about image, how you view things. It is through what we view that we can describe whatever is before us. How do you know who a true leader is? Within my decades of study on this subject matter, I've discovered that the number one identity of leadership is stewardship. And so that's the essential image of leadership, servanthood. You can tell who a leader is by knowing how well he serves. Just like growing up, you can predict what a child will become by how well the child lives. Because you don't suddenly emerge as an elder. The traits of eldership, of manhood, begins at childhood. If you are not a servant, you will never have a taste of leadership. As a matter of fact, those who don't serve should never dream of becoming leaders. If by any means you assume leadership and have a taste of it, it will turn sour in your mouth shortly. It will become like gravel that you never wish to have in your mouth. So servanthood is the path to practicing and developing leadership traits. You cannot be a servant and not become a leader. So to qualify in taking the lead, you necessarily have to bow to serve. Bowing to serve is key to rising to lead. It is as one serves that he impresses and moves God to raise him to lead the people. This has been the examples of great patriarchs. How God raised them. Patriarchs such as Abraham and David. For David, you hear the scripture says, I have found David my servant. God finds them. Psalm 89 verse 20. He is on the lookout. He assesses leaders by examining how well they do in service. Same thing for Abraham. He found him to be faithful. You see that in Nehemiah chapter 9, verses 7 and 8. He found his heart faithful before him and made a covenant with him to take the lead. He found David. He found Abraham. Therefore, the extent to which one is willing to serve defines the limit of leadership is ready to occupy. The leadership position is ready to occupy. Leadership position is vacant to all, but the prerequisite is servanthood. You don't have it, don't bother to apply. Servanthood is what reveals potentials for leadership. So show me a servant today, and a servant indeed, and I will predict a leader in view. Leadership is not wished, neither acquired, nor been demanded for, but assessed via servanthood. There is always a free pathway to climbing the ladder of leadership for those who truly serve. You can't jump into leadership. You can only grow into leadership. And the owned challengeable ladder to it is servanthood. Try as hard as you can. You can't stop a servant from becoming a leader because he has paid the price. Now look at this furthermore. God may choose or appoint an anoint one as a potential leader like he did to David. But it is the service you render to people that makes you their actual leader. See, God's part is to ordain us for what he wants to happen in our lives. 
but the actualization of it has to do with our going down to the grassroots so the people can accept us as their leader. That is to say, God appoints, but you have to serve for the people to accept you. Leadership does not try by imposition of self in any organization, whether spiritual or secular, industry or ministry, political or otherwise. Organizations must take note of this. Systems must take note of this. Government must take note of this. People will react when you don't serve them. But when you serve them, they will willingly appeal to you to come and lead them. That's what we are having today. So wherever you are, don't wish to become a leader. Serve your way to it. And when your services are accepted, people will appoint you to come and take the lead. I do hope and believe that these short words I've shared with you will be a blessing to you in your pursuit in life. May God bless you in Jesus' name.